Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flat Explain. Today we want to talk about another list method which is map. Map will help us to create something from something else. For example, we can create a list of integer out of a list of string. And now, before we start it, if you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and now let's get started. In our first example, we have a list of integers which are called numbers. Our task is here to double our numbers in the list and print them. For that, I will use the map method. So now I will create a new variable and call it pound numbers. After that, I will call the variables numbers. And with that notation of dart, I will call the map method. Now let's jump into the documentation and see how this map method works. Map will get a function as input parameter. And after that, it will iterate through each element in our list and will execute this function on this element. And at the end, it will return a new iterable from this new type. In our example, I will pass an arrow function in our map. And after that, what I want to do is to iterate through each number in our list and double the number. And at the end, I will print our new variable, which is the power number. And the result of that is that we double each number in our list of numbers. In our next example, we have a list of strings which are called names, and our task is to print the length of each name. For that, I will create a new variable and I will call it length names. And what we want to do here is to use the map method, and the, in the function of this method, we want to pass the name and get as a return parameter the length of this name. And at the end, I will print the length names and run the dart pad again. And as a result, we can see that we get an iterable from the length of each names. In our last example, we have a list of friends and I call this my friends. Each friend has a name and an age. And our task is to create a best friend out of each friend. Best friend is a class which has an attribute to name and a function which is say. Now I will create a new variable which is from type iterable best friend and I will call it best friends. What we are going to do is to create a best friend out of each friend. So for that I will write my, my friends and after that call the map method. Now we will iterate through each friend in our my friends list and after that we will create the best friend and we should provide in best friend the name as attribute which is going to be the friends.name. To prove that we have now an iterable of a best friend, I will call the best friend and after that we'll use the for each method and now I will iterate through each element in our new iterable and now I have access to the say method in our best friend class and we'll print the result for each element in our best friend iterable. Now I would like to simplify our solution because we don't actually need the best friends variable. I would like to use the chaining method in Dart. For that, I will remove the variable and the for each method and directly with that notation of Dart, we'll call the for each method and like before, I will call the best friend and after that, we'll print the result of the method which we have from our best friend class. Class. And as you can see, this is much easier and we have exactly the same result. Amazing guys! So far we know how map works in general and now I would like to show you how we can use it in our flat application. For that I will use the same demo which we used in our fall tutorial. If you don't know how I built that, I will put the link to that tutorial in the info box. Here we have two form input fields. The first one is for the item name and the second one is for the item price. And every time when we hit this button, we will add them to our list of items, which is at the beginning an empty list. And now let's jump to the task. Our task is to create a row for each item names and item price in the table. 
To solve our task, I create a method and call it map item to data row. In this method, I want to create a data row out of each item name and item price. So I will use for that the map and map will return a new iterable and in our case, a new iterable from data row. And I will pass a list of items in this method. Now I call items and after that the map method. And now we will iterate through each item in our item list and create a data row out of each item. In the data row, we have a parameter which is cells. This is a list of data cells. So I will pass two data cells. The first one is, the for, is for the item names and the second one is for the item price. And at the end, I will create a variable from type iterable data row and call it data rows. And after that, I will return our variable data row. As we know, this method will return us a new iterable. So I got to the place where I use this method and here we need a list of data rows. Therefore, I write here two lists to create a list out of our data row and pass the items in our method. And last but not least, I will remove here the brackets because we have already a list. Now let's restart our application and add some items in our data table. So I will write a book for $5 and hit the button and it will be added to our data table. And now let's try one more. We have breakfast for $12 and I will hit the button here. And as we can see, it will be also added in our data table. Amazing guys, we made it. Thank you very much guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you want me to cover any other list method, please leave us a comment below. And now have a great week and see you next time. Bye.